I looked and I saw Mitzi and I immediately knew something wasn't right. And then I saw the police officers and the, and the priest. I knew something was wrong and, and I saw, I saw Mitzi and she said, he's gone. Journey was at the University of Michigan, and as far as we could tell, was doing well. But in his senior year at University of Michigan, he, um, we first noticed that he was symptomatic, what some people would call um, psychotic. As his sister, it was so difficult for me to see in him this sense of confusion and anxiety that was so unfamiliar to me in my brother. It was very difficult for him to go through his process and to navigate. He was so accustomed to having a mind that he could not only manage, but allow inspiration to come through and be really clear with his communications. And so I looked for any and every alternative uh, or traditional medication or treatment or therapy or doctor or resource, but I found them difficult to find. We searched for uh, traditional modalities, non-traditional modalities, uh, places, people, anything that we thought would support him in moving through the challenges to a bright and healthy future. Towards the end, um, he was resistant. And so by the time I felt like I had resources to help him, he didn't want anything to do with it. And Finally, he admitted himself into the hospital after three and a half years. I was hopeful because I thought, well, now he's going on his own. He'll, you know, he'll get more out of the, the help there. Um, um, three days after he was discharged, um, he stepped off a building and um, died. I had a real crisis of faith. It seemed really difficult to believe that this bright, intelligent, loving, funny, well-adjusted young man could have such a fate. And when he had such a desire to help people, you know, even when he was in the hospital and uh, under the direst circumstances, he was always giving of himself to others. He always wanted the best for everybody. Journey was a person that people would always want to be around. He was a person that was like a magnet. Journey's life and Journey's death, his transition has been an inspiration to many, but especially me and my own personal work, my inner work. And like Journey, I've always been inspired to help people, to support an optimal outcome for every situation. As time passed, um, I began to imagine what it would have been like if I had had these resources in the beginning when he was open to the help. I started to, to dream about a resource that would support people who were experiencing mental illness and a resource for their families to really pull together doctors, um, nutritionists, therapists, massage therapists, yoga teachers, you know, medication, whatever it was that could truly facilitate healing for a person, that they begin to work together. And that we, we get rid of this idea that mental illness is something to be addressed in a silo. And we embrace every possible tool that can support someone in recovering because that's possible.